Hey guys, Ryan Man here, back in another video. Today's review on the uh, 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 DC Comics Multiverse Signature Collection Batman Forever uh, Val Kilmer Batman figure. I mean, we got this one at a good price at GameStop with the 25%, so pretty cool. Some nice pictures of uh, Val Kilmer Batman on the sides here, Batman Forever, which I actually like that movie. It's not my favorite, of course, but it's still a pretty good movie, I think. And there's the figure clearly displayed. Multiverse got a nice picture on the side. On the back here, you can also get the uh, Flash from the original TV show. So that's pretty cool. It's got a little uh, bio here. And it says, Val Kilmer portrays billionaire Bruce Wayne and the iconic hero Batman. He must embrace a new partnership while fighting two menacing villains obsessed with finding out the identity behind the mask. There's a nice picture of uh, the figure there. And it says, you see, my life is really complex Bruce Wayne even though I believe that line <laughs> is from <laughs> the 89 Batman um, so that's Michael Keaton Batman you know in my opinion the best person to play Batman but that's my opinion not here to debate that <laughs> so uh, anyway uh, one able to stop there it says each sold separately of course subject to availability colors and decorations may vary <laughs> warning small small parts Anyway, try a quick break, get him out of package, see anything he comes with, and detailed situation of the figure. So here's the Batman out of package, pretty awesome looking figure. Pretty cool, um, comparison to the, it's, the head sculpt's not dead on, but I think it looks like it does the job pretty good. Uh, and the thing about this suit, it looks pretty close to how it's supposed to, look at this picture here. Just doesn't have the nipples, which I'm okay with. Um, to reiterate something I said before taking this out, uh, Kema, uh, Michael Keaton is my favorite live-action Batman, and you know, but the per the best voice is Kevin Conroy, definitely. So I got you in the final game. He actually kind of looked like him in when they rendered the, the actual Bruce Wayne head. <laughs> he actually kind of looked like him, so I thought that was kind of neat. Anyway, getting to this, as I was opening this up, to a funny story. I was singing <laughs> "Rose on the Gray," which I actually like that song. I think we all did. You know, everybody knows it anyway. This movie's pretty good. I actually, uh, not the best Batman movie. My favorite's Batman Returns, but still a pretty good movie. The one after it, not so much. <laughs> Hilarious movie. Hilarious. But anyway, get into the, um, uh, figure himself, the accessories. Neat thing about this one, he comes with a stand, says Batman on there. This does open so you can put the accessories in here. So that's pretty cool. He comes with two pairs of hands. Extra pairs. I like the glossy paint on this. Um, I think this is for the. Oops, dropped the other thing. I'm not exactly sure how this. I would want to say it goes like this, but I might be wrong. I have to rewatch the movie, but I think you're supposed to put the grapple gun in his hand like this. Might be wrong. But pretty nice grapple. I think it looks accurate. Maybe it goes in there like this. I'm not. I'm not. 100% sure how it's supposed to fit in his hand, but uh, maybe like maybe not so much. I don't know. Eh, like that. We'll put it in there like that. That's pretty cool. I'll show you. Swap that out in a minute. Um, he also comes with these little pegs that go on the stand here. Um, when I do with them, uh, to plug. I guess to plug the holes up. I think that's what these are for. Um, I'll show that in a minute. So yeah, these little pegs are, I think you could put his feet on there, if you want to. Yeah, these are just for his feet pegs. You can stick him on anyone you want. You basically put plug up any of the holes and put them on here. He also has a flight stand, which is neat. I like that idea. Um, it's not the best, but it does the job. It swivels right here. You plug this in right here. And there's a hole in his back. I'll show you that. At the end of the video, I guess. It also comes with this little plug so you can plug up the little peg hole to put the flight stand in if you want to. So that's pretty cool. And again, like I said, you can store the extra pieces underneath. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I'll get into the figure himself right now. Um, as I was saying, pretty good head sculpt. I don't think it's 100% dead on to uh, kill more, but I think it does the job. Uh, I like the gloss on the on the actual cowl there and on the gauntlets. Looking pretty cool. Like I said, I think it's a pretty good rendition of the costume. It's not 100% accurate. It doesn't have the nipples, so I'm okay with that. Um, I like the gold they did for the bat symbol there. That looks pretty cool. It's got the muscular chair. It's got the belt here. It looks pretty accurate from 
uh, how I remember the suit. I like the inside of the cape. Outside's a little feathery. I think this is the same material they use for the uh, Tech Suit Justice League Batman, but I'm not sure. I used to have that figure. I don't have it anymore. But, uh, but, uh, you see here. The inside's kind of like a felty material. And out's kind of pleathery, but it looks okay. It does the job okay. Um, as I said, here's the back here. It's got, he's got numbers on his butt. <laughs> uh, see, there's the peg hole for the actual uh, stand here. So you can put him on a flight stand. I guess you can put him in a pose. If you want to put him in a, like a flight pose, you can do so. So that's pretty cool. Um, I might do that later. Um, but uh, but yeah, and I, you know, pretty straightforward. Get the cape over his face. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Not too much to say because it's mostly just a silvery black for the most part of it. But it's pretty clean. Um, articulation. Well, uh, get into the articulation now. The head look. He looks up that far. Looks down that far. So I would have been a pivot. So could be better. Um, R S swivel 360. Jump a little bit right there. Uh, swivel up the bicep. Uh, double jointed elbows. There is a gauntlet cut. R swivel 360. A little stiff there. Hinge up and down a little bit. Have crunch. Not just four. Not too much forward. A little bit back side. Side. Legs kick out that far. He kicks that far forward. That far back. Upper thigh swivel. Single jointed knee. No boot cut. Ankles go. Down a little bit, or a bunch. Uh, down that far, up that far. No side to side and no pivot, and there is, but there is toe articulation, and no pickles, uh, and pickles on the bottom of the feet. So, still a little bit better than most uh, multiverse, but still pretty good articulation, I guess. So pretty good. And to swap out the hand, they pop out right here. The peg. There's uh, each individual hand has a peg. So you pull that out. And you just put in the hand that you want to place. There's only two choices, so. But there you go. And again, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure how he's supposed to have it. I think it goes this way. Looking at it now, I think this is how it's supposed to look. I have to look at pictures again, but uh, maybe it goes this way. I don't know. <laughs> but now he can hold the battery. <laughs> So, pretty cool. Alright, and the uh, final thing I forgot to show, you could slide this in here and use this as a backdrop. So, that's pretty cool. I will do that. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, for a DC Multiverse uh, figure, Batman stands, since he's a little bit taller than the average one, he, uh, he's about 7 inches to the top of his ears there, without counting the base. On the base, I'm going to say about 8 inches, but uh, let's get some size comparisons. There he is next to a couple multiverse Batman figures, as you can see, since he's a little bit, he's a little bit taller than the average uh, multiverse figure. He's a little bit taller than the Suicide Squad Batman, but still shorter than the uh, Dark Knight Returns armored Batman. But he, I still think he'll fit in this play with your uh, DC multiverse figures. You want to put him with them for some reason, so it's pretty cool. And here he is next to a couple Kenner uh, classic Batman figures. Uh, Keaton Batman there, uh, original uh, the quick change Bruce Wayne, <laughs> the original toy toy biz Batman back there, uh, Batman again, Batman returns Catwoman, and the Kilmore. I actually have a Kilmore Batman here, as you can see. To be honest, I think the scopes are a little bit better on that one, but this one's still not too bad. You can see the differences here. I believe this is that's the suit from the end of the movie. This one's the one from the beginning of the movie. So, you know, when he goes, I'll get drive through. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's all good. But still, pretty cool. I'm uh, I got to have this figure because I actually like that movie. Not my favorite, but still, pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to come these little vintage Batman figures. As you can see, he's taller than these, so he will not put in display your canner figures, but still, pretty cool. And here he is next to my Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace, Pime and As you can see, he is taller. And finally, for a Marvel Legends comparison, here he is next to my Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon Vehicle Wave Scar Spider. As you can see, he is taller. I still think he'll fit in the display of your uh, Marvel Legends. You want to put him with them for some reason, so pretty cool. And here he is on the base, kind of in a flight pose, best I can do so. But still, pretty cool, I guess. You can do that. So, pretty cool. It's better. So, all in all, I think this is a pretty cool figure. Um, it could be better. Uh, definitely a step in the right direction, articulation-wise. I like that it comes with a stand, backdrop, storage, a couple extra things, a flight stand, so that's pretty cool. 
could be a hundred better at the face sculpt, but it's not that bad. Uh, and you know, if you're a fan, uh, I like Batman Forever, so I'm okay. I like having different iterations of the classic Batmans. I hope they do more. I'd like. <laughs> I mean, I'd even get a Clooney, uh, just to have all the original guys. Uh, they're doing Penguin, a spoiler, comic book spoiler. It's going to be a Walmart exclusive, as is the uh, Rebirth Harley Quinn. So there's more of these coming. Um, but uh, I think this is going to look pretty cool on your Batman show if you have a movie verse. Uh, and, you know, I think it's going to look cool there. I think it's going to look good on a Batman show. And I, I definitely recommend this if you're a... Uh, Batman fan, DC Comics Multiverse fan, uh, Sinister Series Collection uh, fan, uh, Bell Kilmer fan, Bat and Batman Forever fan, and a Batman fan in general. Anyway, this is my quick review on the DC Comics Multiverse Signature Collection Batman Forever Val Kilmer Batman figure. I hope you like it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment. If you appreciate it, follow me on Twitter, Ryan Arnold's Command. As always, my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Baby, I can bear you to a kiss from a rose on the crane. Ooh, I'm gonna get a young stranger in the air. Now that your rose is blue, I like